What's good YouTube? Today we have another market watch. We're going over a lot of cards in this one and I've never had so many people actually request a market watch because of two cards but I'm going to go into a lot of cards you might not have thought about because of one of those cards. So first up is number 38 Hope Harbinger Titanic Galaxy and you see a low of 23 on TCG player. It was actually at 15 last night but just quickly quickly rising. I guess people are just now realizing you need it in your DDDs. It only has its one printing in P Gold 3. So um, it's just very, you know, one copy. It's over a year ago now. It's such a very, very good card. I mean, even it was $5 out the gate, and it's rare for a gold rare to be $5 out the gate. And now it's just increasing very fast. We see a low of 16 and then 17, and then quickly rising 18, 19 on. Uh, eBay as well so uh, just quickly going up there's not a huge supply of them for such a uh, high demand on the card uh, a structure deck is very very cheap to play um, so basically there's very very little you need outside of it besides crystal wing and hope harbinger and a few other cards bow baboon was announced in the T or OCG and I haven't covered it yet but one card to consider is Lone Fire Blossom. We see this graph and it started spiking already. Um, we see the lowest available is a little under 40 and then it quickly goes up. And there's very, very, very few quantity. There's just not much of it at all. So uh, it's just the hollowed out version of Lone Fire. Uh, it helps you get to Bao Baboon faster. Of course, Bao Baboon has combos to go into Invoker. If you don't know the card, multiple other tubers, almost every other tuber, my newsfeed was completely clogged with it, have covered the card. I probably should as well, and will later in the week when I'm not so sick. And I also have a lot of the regional coverage to do. But we also see a uh, light play, uh, moderately played, and then uh, it keeps being played until we have a $40 one at the near mint range. So, uh, yeah, it looks like it's sticking around 40 right now, which, uh, when it's been played in the meta, it usually hits 60. So this is, you know, two-thirds of what it realistically could be if Bow Baboon and is being played, Lone Fire, Predator Plants. Uh, there's plenty of reasons for this card to be going up, and it's already on the start. I believe it was all the way down to 30. Another card highly, highly suggested to me to be on here is Evil Zor Lagia. Now, let me go ahead to my messages over here as I tell you why. Basically, there's new dinosaur support, supporting the normal dinosaurs. There's a, a really good field spell coming out, and uh, this field spell is called Lost World. It has four effects, literally four effects. Uh, one, all non-dinosaur monsters lose 500 attack and defense. Two, once per turn, when a dinosaur monster is special summoned, you can special summon a Jurak Egg token to your opponent's side of the field, an Earth level 1, zero, 0, in defense. So optional. But the third effect goes along with that, I believe. If your opponent controls a token, they cannot target cards except token cards with card effects. That's pretty good. So no Castell, uh, those sorts of effects, Diamond Direwolf. Four, once per turn, when a normal monster would be destroyed by battle or card effect. So this goes with normal dinosaurs, uh, helps protect them. Uh, you can destroy the same number of dinosaurs from your hand or deck. So it kind of helps turbo you out to other effects and load your graveyard from your deck. Pretty darn good. Uh, four effects and any card's insane. Usually three makes something insane. But uh, Lagia, of course, going along. And we're going to go over a lot of the good old uh, Dino Rabbit cards. And we see a low of 18, then 19, then 20 quickly rising. First guy, of course, has the wrong picture. But it quickly rises. And... Uh, some cards to consider. Saber Source Secret. Only a dollar right now. And if this card's going to see play, it's easily going to go to $5 for the highest rarity version. There is a Duelist League version of it as well. But Secret Rares from Joey uh, Joey's World. This is the only, uh, I believe, hollowed out version. And we see a low of two on eBay because uh, it just simply doesn't exist. And quickly, quickly goes up. Not many of them there. So uh, I would definitely be trying to add them to your cart on TCG Player. Uh, definitely a very, very uh, good consideration along with Caboozles. Uh, the Secret Rare, very low is all. Also, uh, the only hollowed out version, but quickly goes up. Uh, not many low. Uh, people might have already been thinking about this and getting their copies because of a similar effect here. 
Aqua Bador is at $15 for the Secret Rare. Now, if you didn't know what Aqua Mador Secret Rare uh, was in, there's this water deck that uses things like Unexpected Die and Rescue Rabbit to make Shark to make Toad. Uh, they, it's a Spellcaster, so it works with Gigabyte as well. It just happens to have the best synergy as a Vanilla. And we see on eBay not quite so much. They're like 7-8s, for, but you have to buy the whole playset at 20 and uh, then quickly rises. Uh, there's only two playsets, and there's only four total available sellers, one from Australia. So definitely, uh, we could have a very similar effect with Caboozles and Saber Source, as we see with this Aqua Manor. There's no reason we shouldn't see them hit probably five for the hollowed out versions. If you have them, keep them. Don't trade them off cheap. If you don't have them already, I would uh, suggest actually at these prices, these dollar prices, buying... And uh, I rarely suggest to buy something, but uh, I would definitely go trade for it as well, as long as you're getting them at two or one. Uh, but it will quickly hit five, in my opinion, as the set nears. The set's not out for a long time. This is the MARC set. Uh, so, that Maximum Crisis, I believe, it won't be out for a long time, but it's just smart to go ahead and get something that's probably seeing play. And as we see, again, Rescue Rabbit, first Ed secret. I, I stressed heavily to people when it was down to $8 to buy the first Eds. I've always kind of stressed that. Uh, and we see it literally does not exist. There is not a single first Ed on TCG player. Now, uh, of course, Rescue Rabbit's going to help make Logia. Helps things in other decks already. It's played in Metal Foes already. Uh, so it had been on the rise as of late. We see moderate. We played first set, and I believe the lowest is 18, but I just refreshed everything. Yes, 18. This guy sold 13 of them. Pretty impressive. So, overall, it's just like, you see these cards. You you see Saber Source, you see Caboozles, and you see Rescue Rabbit, and they're all slowly starting to, uh, I believe, trend upwards, and just have very low quantities before it rises very high. Uh, definitely... Just, you know, history repeats itself very often in Yu-Gi-Oh! Both, both, <laughs> both in the market and within the, the, you know, sometimes the playing. Like, we often see strategies come back and there's so much support that I don't think we want to see people try this. Will it be good or not? I mean, they have a field spell with four effects. They have a ton of new monsters. They have new traps. All that seem pretty darn good. I might, I might go over this in its own video and talk about the dinosaur support, but definitely, I think uh, that's that's a bit low. DD Sabbath Thomas is not in the DDD structure deck. Uh, it's already uh, a low of two dollars and quickly, quickly rising. As you see, uh, there's just not much of a quantity protecting it from going up with many players needing. But there is one seller with twenty of them. But think about that. This is only, uh, between these 30, that's only 10 play sets. So it just quickly goes up to uh, $4 on the front page. And uh, we see it at $1.44 trying to hold on with two left. Quickly $3 here as well. And then quickly to five on eBay. But with other stuff. But yeah, it's just, uh, you know, when a piece is missing out of a structure deck that's supposed to come with everything you need... It's, it's going to be up there. So, uh, you know, Hope Harbinger is spiking sort of for that same reason. We're going to see, I think, Sabbath be the $5 rare, kind of like Ragnarok was just out of hype. You you do probably need to be playing Thomas, I imagine. I've seen it in almost every list that I've seen around. So, definitely you want to check that out. So, thanks for joining me for this Market Watch. I'll have a lot of the regional coverage up here soon. Let me know what you think about these suggestions, and if you like me making suggestions like this ahead of time, rather than, you know, just reporting. I, I kind of enjoy, like, showing off what I think is going to go up, and I there's no reason these two are not going to go up if this is spiking like this. Like, and Rescue Rabbit will probably hit 20-25 for the first end, probably 25. It's, it's just a matter of time, but definitely interesting to see all the trends. Uh, there's, there's a lot going on, uh, just from hype and potential decks, but I think these potential decks do have a lot of power and the cards have a lot of power. So should be interesting to see how it melds with the Zodiacs.
Thanks for watching, guys. And again, regional coverage will be up on the channel soon.